President Trump's controversial Fed nominee, Judy Shelton, heading to Capitol Hill today, where lawmakers are likely to question some of her non-traditional views on monetary policy. Joining us right now is one of those senators who will question Shelton, uh, Senator Mike Grounds, Republican of South Carolina, uh, South Dakota, why is it South Carolina? Uh, he serves on the banking committee. It's great to see you. Um, what do you think of her? And in particular, what do you think of this view that she has espoused that we don't even need a Fed? Well, to begin with, I had a chance to visit with her in my office. I had a good uh, discussion with her, asked her some questions specifically about some of the comments that, that have been attributed to her. Uh, I didn't find her to be nearly as unreasonable as some uh, of the pundits have suggested. I thought uh, her discussions with regard to a very stable sovereign uh, uh, metric or a very sta stable uh, sovereign coin uh, was appropriate. Uh, I the, think that she the will... The idea of uh, pegging to gold again. Yeah, th there was a discussion about pegging, pegging to gold. Uh, we actually talked about that for, for some time. And look, I, I, I don't think she's nearly as in tune to making major changes as a lot of people would suggest. But I think the healthy part is, is that she will bring a rather diverse background and a different way of looking at some things. And I think that's healthy on the board. In fact, I asked uh, the chairman yesterday about groupthink, and he clearly wants a diverse group of people on, on the board with him. He's not afraid of that. At the same time, in talking with, uh, with Dr. Shelton, uh, she makes it very clear that she understands that she can have a different point of view but still be a part of a team. And that's kind of what we're looking for. A lot of people, though, are speculating that if she gets uh, on the board, uh, that she may actually become the next chair of the Fed. What do you think of that? Well, I, I've heard that rumor, but, but I can tell you that, uh, uh, look, I, I really like the job that Chairman Powell has done. Uh, I'm a believer in Fed independence. Um, I think he's done a good job of navigating through some rather challenging times. And at the same time, he stayed focused on exactly what Congress has told them they're supposed to do, which is to work at keeping inflation down and working at keeping uh, the unemployment level right. as low as possible. And if you take a look at it right now, it looks like it's working. Would you consider Shelton independent? And I ask because there's a view uh, among at least her critics that she is uh, not just much more in tune with uh, the president, but uh, likely to uh, work at his uh, behest. Well, I think, first of all, you're not going to find this president or many other presidents that are going to suggest someone that they don't believe has a similar point of view than what they do. I think that's well, part of the privilege of being the president. Jay Powell but, is, has proven to yeah. be, uh, at least up until recently, potentially at odds oftentimes with the president. And yet the president made that recommendation for him. And once, uh, you know, once Chairman Powell is in place and so forth, we expect them to be independent. I would expect uh, that, that Dr. Shelton would be independent as well. And I think she'll bring different ideas. It does not mean necessarily that she'll bring ideas that she's going to go to the well for, that she's going to go and do battle on. But to suggest different approaches and to suggest different alternatives is a healthy discussion to have. In fact, Chairman Powell yesterday said that they welcomed that, not just from the members of the board, but from uh, the different uh, banks around the country. And they listened to that. So. I, I don't have a fear of Dr. Shelton stepping onto the board and being one of those seven members that is uh, having a very good discussion, but at the same time, when they're all done, being part of the same team. Okay. Uh, Senator Rounds, it's always good to see you. Uh, we look forward uh, to that hearing later today.